The heat in Sergeant Hall hasn't been turned on yet, so the temperatures throughout the building and in several rooms have significantly dropped, causing many rooms to be colder than usual. Um, the heat was not supposed to be on yet, um, and so it was turned back off when it was discovered it was on. The cold temperatures were not only felt by residents as they walked throughout the halls, but throughout the rooms. Some rooms got below 65 degrees which makes for some very cold nights as you're trying to sleep and even affected how some residents slept, making them have to bundle up underneath the covers. <laughs> the building was so cold last night that I slept in a sweatshirt, sweatpants, my robe and three blankets and I didn't even go to my 8 a.m. class, so it was so cold. <laughs> as the director of the building, McDowell could be flooded with emails from parents and residents who are not happy, but luckily for him, that's not the case. I only got one or two emails, so it wasn't too bad. Some of the RAs would talk to me about, a little bit about it, but it was never, there was concern, but it wasn't ever cold enough that that date that had been set was going to be overruled. Maintenance people have told McDowell that on Wednesday, November 9th, they can expect the heat to be turned on and on for the rest of the year. But until then, residents just have to bundle up in their rooms. For WEB, I'm Mitchell Lyons.